Hello everyone, I am Chase at Rocky Mountain ATPMC, giving you a closer look at the Striker Gauge from Trail Tech. All right, all right, so today we're giving you a closer look at the Striker Gauge coming from Trail Tech. So we have a lot of great gauges that we offer from these guys, and the Striker is going to be awesome for riders, whether it's motorcycle, ATV, or UTV, that are looking for a speedometer, a trip computer, and a voltmeter for your battery, all built into one. So if that's what you're in the market for, this would be a really good unit. So we'll go through, we'll just talk about all the different features and the highlights and diff the different modes and screens that you're getting here with the Striker. So to get started, let's just talk about the unit itself. So what's nice about this is that it is waterproof. So if you're riding with this, it gets wet, you're caught in some rain, not gonna have any issues there. You can have three buttons on your front, your mode button, which will turn it on. It'll change the modes. We'll show you that here in just a moment. You've got your up and your down arrows. Now if we flip it around and look at the back, I just wanna show you real quick, you've got this little red button. So that's your reset button. So like I said, going along with your trip data, there's certain things that you might want to reset. So to do that, you're just gonna use that red button there. So now let's just go through, talk about your different screens and the modes that you get with this. So like I mentioned earlier, your mode button is going to fire this thing right up. Your up arrow is actually going to be your backlit screen, so that's going to turn that off and on. And then if we look here, when you pop it on your main screen, okay, you're going to have your speed, you're going to have your battery volts, you're going to have your engine temperature, your distance in miles or kilometers. You can change that, your time of day. And then down here you have your clock, which says RT, that is your ride time. So that you will, from the start of your ride to the end of your ride, you can see how long you were riding and that you can reset. Now if I press mode, second screen, so I've still got my speed, still got battery volts, but now I have ambient temperature. I've still got my distance, time of day, and also now my clock says TT above it. So that is an actual stopwatch. So the difference between the stopwatch and your ride time is your ride time from the time you start till you end. But let's say that during that ride, you want to time a specific part of the trail. Well, you could use your stopwatch to do that and that's going to be resettable as well. And then the third screen is basically your trip data. So it's going to have your maximum speed along with your average speed, your minimum maximum battery volts, going to have your maximum engine temperature, your odometer. Now the odometer is going to be an odometer just like you would have for your car truck. That's not going to be resettable. So as soon as you install this for the first time, from that point thereafter, it's always going to be tracking how far you go. So again, just think of it like your car truck. And then down at the bottom, you've got your clock, which says ART above it. That stands for accumulated ride time. So just think of it as an hour meter for your machine. That will start keeping track as soon as you have this installed, you fire it up for the first time and thereafter. But just remember, that one's not going to be resettable. Now, a couple of the features that I like about this. So we just walked you through. We've shown you the three screens, the different modes or different settings that you have. But also what's cool is that you have a temperature warning. So if you want, you can program it to actually show you an LED when you've reached a certain max engine temperature. You also have a voltmeter warning. So if you're using a certain amount of voltage from your battery, that will actually warn you. And also do have a maintenance reminder. Aside from that hour meter, the accumulated ride time, there is a little icon that will pop up letting you know it's time to do some maintenance. So you can program that as well. So that's the different functions. Those are all the features that you have. But now let's talk about install real quick. So when it comes to install, it's pretty straightforward. If you go to trailtech.net slash setup, they have instructions step-by-step step there to help you out. You can see it comes with all the wiring, all the hardware that's gonna be needed. If you look at the back here, like I showed you earlier, you can see once you have all the wiring done, it's essentially just plug and play from there and you're gonna be good to go. They do also include a mount that comes included for your motorcycle or your ATV's handlebars. That's gonna be pretty straightforward. But there it is. That is the striker gauge coming from Trail Tech. Again, for riders looking for a speedometer, trip computer, and voltmeter all built into one, this would be a rock solid unit. If you guys have any questions, leave your comments below. We'll help get those answered. Another great place to ask your questions is on the product page. If you ask your questions there, you will get answers from customers who have bought and are using the striker gauge. But also keep in mind that Trail Tech makes a lot of other great gauges. Okay, If you have a bike, ATV, or even UTV, but you're not worried about the voltmeter, maybe you want to have real-time RPMs, you can even check out the vapor gauge, which is essentially the same thing, but instead of having a voltmeter, it shows your live RPMs. Remember guys, orders over $75 ship free. If you like this product spotlight, do not hesitate. Get subscribed to us, and that's going to keep you up to date and in the loop on the latest gear guides product reviews and how-to videos that we are constantly rolling out. I'm Chase of Rocky Mountain. We'll see you on the trails.